Welcome to Informatica Cloud Videos. In this video, we'll be looking at how to use Union Transformation in Informatica Cloud Mapping Designer. The major feature of Union Transformation is to merge two data sources. Sources not having related fields, which cannot be joined using any of the fields which are related functionally, rather needs to be merged together. Some of the prerequisites of having Union Transformations are all of the source columns must have similar data types. Number of columns in each source must be same. You can define two input groups and that must be one output group. Now let's go ahead and try to create a demo task in order to understand how to use Union Transformation. Log on to your Informatica Cloud portal using your credential and navigate to Design Mapping and try to click on New Mappings button to create a new mapping. Provide an appropriate name. In this case, we'll be using a name called as Demo Union Transformation. Click OK. Now drag and drop a source transformation from the palette. Provide appropriate name. We'll be using flat file as one of the sources in this case. Hence, we'll be selecting a flat file connection. Now let's select the appropriate object. I'll be selecting a contact object in this case. Click OK. Now let's drag and drop another source. In this case, we'll be using Salesforce as the other source. We'll be selecting the Salesforce connection. After you select the Salesforce connection, you need to select the appropriate object. Contact would be the Salesforce object which will be selected. Both the objects contact from the flat file and Salesforce would be merged together using a union transformation. Drag and drop the union transformation, expand it and connect the flat file source to group 1 and Salesforce source to group 2. Now provide appropriate name for the union transformation and go ahead define the input fields which you want to selectively merge together. For the sake of demo, we will try to take four fields from group 1 source and four fields from group 2. Hence, we will be using named fields for incoming field. We will be selecting account ID, email, and first name, last name as four fields. We will be choosing similar fields from source 2 as well which is Salesforce account ID email first name and last name once you have chosen the incoming fields from both the sources go ahead and try to configure the output fields we can rather create output fields here I would uh, like to actually delete all the existing fields and create a fresh you can also choose to delete only not necessary fields and keep the other fields. To make it easy, I'll try to import all fields from the source. I'll select all the four fields from group 1 and I'll also do the same for the group 2. So let's try again. Yeah. Click OK. Now that you had selected the source fields from these source groups, now click on field mapping and try to map these fields accordingly for both the groups or both the sources. Now try to drag and drop the target, connect the output of the union transformation to the target and try to configure the target. In this case we will have flat file as a target as a sample which is going to contain the data 
or merge both the source data together. If you don't have an existing file, you can create a file at runtime. Let's give a name to the file, go to the target field, select the field mapping and do a validation of the mapping. Go ahead, save and run the mapping. Choose a runtime environment to run it. If you would like to create a mapping configuration task for scheduling it, you can go ahead, create a mapping configuration task and choose appropriate schedule. As you could see, the task ran successfully and was able to integrate 10,200 rows. We would like to hear from you. You can mail us your feedback at supportvideos at informatica.com 